How's it going everybody? Welcome to the vlog. It is Friday, July 9th. It is 7.11 in the morning right now. Um, I just got out of the shower. I got up at 6.30 and I got in the, I got my last minute packing done and I got, went ahead and I hopped in the shower. Got all nice and clean and I'm dressed. So I just got to put uh, my boots on and my hat and stuff like that. Um, I decided I'm going to wear uh, my uncle's boots that my aunt gave me while I was with them. Uh, my aunt pitched that idea. She said it'd probably be easier if you wore the boots and you packed your shoes so that it's less room you got to take up in your bag. And I thought that was a good idea. So I found a way to make my shoes fit in the bag. So everything is packed. Everything that I'm taking home, which is everything that I brought plus a few things. Uh, like my grandma gave me some pictures of us when we were younger. Um, so I have those in the bag. I'm also taking home uh, the map of the zoo that me and my aunt went to as kind of just like a souvenir. And uh, of course I'm bringing home the boots, but I'm wearing those, but my tennis shoes that I wore here are added on to the stuff in the bag. So there are a few things, but not, you know, nothing extravagant. But uh, today's the day that we head and uh, move on to the next phase of our little vacation. Um, we leave Pennsylvania today, and we fly back to Iowa, we fly back to Des Moines, and we pick up the car, the old whip, old blue lightning, and uh, we pick her up, and we drive, instead of driving back to Grandpa's and getting ready for work, uh, we're driving back home um, to Dad's, um, because I'm going to visit with them. Uh, visit with the family out there at dad's we're gonna ha I think we're going swimming sometime this weekend while all the kids are there and stuff like that because they want they haven't seen me obviously since I moved so we're gonna do that and then while I'm there I'm gonna get my old car scrapped I'm gonna sign off on the title and we are going to scrap that thing we are going to get it off the yard we're getting it out of there it's the only vehicle sitting there now that isn't um, in use uh, my one of the other old cars that was sitting around, uh, it got taken off the, the lot already. So um, basically it's just my car sitting around now. Uh, the black car that used to sit around, uh, that's Tyler's car now. Tyler uses it on a daily basis. That's Tyler's car. And I used it for a while too and my transmission went out in my car. So it's a good car. So that black car that's been sitting around that you guys have probably seen, that's Tyler's car now. And... Uh, other than that, yeah, that's the only other vehicle that was sitting around, really, and didn't have a purpose um, for a little while. So my, my, my old car, my red Hyundai Elantra, is the only vehicle on the lot sitting there at the house, on, on, on the property, that isn't being used. It's probably never going to be used again. Um, so when I get there, I'm going to sign off on the title, and we're going to send it to the scrapyard. I might get a little money out of the deal. I don't expect too, too much, but I didn't pay too, too much at, uh, for it either because I bought it off my stepbrother back when I first got it. So I'm not expecting to get a huge uh, amount of money for it, but uh, that's okay. I don't expect it. Um, but here's kind of the itinerary. Here at about 8 o'clock, uh, we're going to take off. We're going to stop at McDonald's for breakfast, I believe. And then um, we're going to make our trek to our drive to Pittsburgh. I'm gonna get my mom's gonna drop me off at the airport in Pittsburgh. I'll get checked in, go through security, and get to my gate just like we did in Des Moines. And then I'll sit and wait at the gate and wait till we board. And then we only have like an hour flight from Pittsburgh and we land in Detroit, Michigan. We have a two hour wait in Detroit, so that gives me time to wander the new airport and get to my gate. Um, I've never been to Detroit before, so it'll be that, that two hours is a good time frame to get me in there. And, you know, I'm sure all you got to do is follow the signs, but, you know, just new place. I just, it, it's always nice to have that little window at time. So we'll land in Detroit. We have a two hour wait, and then we uh, board again on another aircraft, and we take off again, and we fly about two hours. It's an hour and 49 minutes, according to my itinerary. An hour and 49 minutes. But it's technically only like 
less than an hour because of the time change. So it's still about a two hour flight, but it's, so we take off at like 4.04 and we land at 4.54, but that's just due to the time change. Um, we land in Des Moines, so about five o'clock Iowa time, we land and we get off the plane and then we can just leave the airport. We'll grab the shuttle and we'll go back to uh, the lot where my car is parked. I'll get in my car, we'll fire her up and we'll pay for the parking on our way out and then we will be headed to my dad's. So it's a big day. Uh, it'll be about like seven or so when I get there to my dad's. So we probably won't do much tonight. Probably just chill them out with the family tonight. But uh, it'll be nice to see them again. I haven't seen them since I moved to my grandpa's. So it'll be nice to see them. So hope you guys did enjoy this trip. I know I kind of reflected on this already in the last video, but I hope you guys did enjoy the trip out here. Uh, we did, we had, I had so much fun. I got to see my grandma again. I got to meet my aunt again, and I get to see her again, reunite with her, and we clicked, and it's just so much fun. I had an incredible time, and I took you guys along with me. I hope you guys had an incredible time, too. So I'm going to go ahead and do some last minute getting ready, guys, and I'll catch you guys in just a bit. Harley, I got to go bye-bye. I got to go bye-bye. You'll be a good boy. You'll be a good boy. I got to go bye-bye. I got to leave. Lily, come here. Come here. I gotta go bye bye. I gotta go bye bye, guys. I know you guys don't want me to go. I know. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go bye bye, guys. I gotta go bye bye. I know you guys don't want me to go. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the airport, guys. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go up here to the terminal. I'm gonna grab my bag and we're gonna go ahead and get me uh, checked in and I'm gonna head off, guys. We're kind of, I'm kind of in a little bit of a rush. So I'm gonna try to get checked in and go through security and I will probably catch you guys at the gate. All right, everybody, it's now 2.15 and I am here in Detroit, here in the airport. Take a look at the tunnel, guys. Isn't that amazing? Um, I we got to Pittsburgh Airport like I like I showed you guys on the vlog, and then I uh, I got to my gate just fine, uh, and then we boarded the plane in Pittsburgh, and I had an aisle seat, so unfortunately I have no um, flight footage for you guys. But um, we are here in Detroit. I'm kind of I know where my gate is. I'm already. Um, my gate is, I'm pulling out of, we're departing out of gate C9, but I'm going into concourse A, because I'm looking for something to eat, because I'm hungry. 
so we're looking for something to eat here. But I just find it cool, this tunnel. I mean, just look at this. Isn't that cool? So, uh, we're gonna, I'm just gonna explore. I have a couple, I have a couple hours, a little under two hours before we depart uh, back to Des Moines. But I'm gonna go ahead and find something to eat, guys. And I'll catch you guys in just a bit. Alright guys, it is now 5.15, I am here at the Des Moines airport, I just got off the shuttle, and I'm headed over here to Old Blue. I'm headed over to where I parked the car, and I'm going to get in, and I got to, of course, pay my, uh, my parking, and then we'll be on our merry way back home to Dad's. Here she is, old blue. That's oh, can't get around there. There's a pole there. Let me go in between these cars. There she is, old girl. Hello, car. Man, it's good to see it. It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. It has. It has. Well. Found the car. <laughs> That's awesome. Still here. Still looks good. Still looks the same way it did when I left it. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, once again, uh, no airplane footage. Um, I was not able to get any airplane shots because, once again, I was in an, an, an aisle seat. So, I was not able to get any airplane footage for this entire flight home. But I think I kind of made up for it for one the huge amount of airplane footage I had going out there, and two, the, uh, the footage that I shot for driving to Pittsburgh uh, today. So, I think I made up for it pretty well. Um, but I am here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in the car. I'm gonna get my, my card out and ready to go. I just gotta go over here, just over here to the, to the payment deal, and uh, and pay for my parking and then I will be hitting the road I got about an hour and a half drive uh, back home to dad's because that's where I'm going for at least a few days I'm gonna spend some time with the family I think we're gonna go swimming either tomorrow or Sunday or something like that and I gotta, um, gotta I'm gonna be scrapping sending my old car to the scrapyard while I'm out at my dad's too so and I actually it was kind of cool I was waiting at the shuttle station I had called the the shuttle and I was standing there waiting and uh, another, uh, a guy and uh, I guess his girlfriend, or I don't know, uh, must have, they came in and they were just standing in there waiting on something different. And he looked down at it, because I'm wearing my, my uncle's boots. Um, I'm wearing them. I wore them all the way. Uh, and I, uh, he, they, he looked down at my boots and he goes, those are nice boots. And I said, thanks. And he goes, are those Tony Llamas? And I go, I have no idea what brand they are, to be honest with you. I said they were my uncles, <laughs> but uh, I had somebody compliment the boots, so I know they look good. <laughs> I mean, I knew they looked good, at least in my eyes, so seeing somebody else, you know, especially back here back home in Iowa, uh, like them, that's how I know they're good. But man, it feels good to be home, back in Iowa. I mean, I loved my trip uh, to Pennsylvania. I loved every second of it. I was able to see my grandma and my aunt for the first time in over 10 years. I was able to do some gaming stuff for you guys, visit with my mom as well. So I am excited. Uh, so I, I did not regret any of that trip, but it, it feels good to be home. It feels good to be back in Iowa, you know. Born here, you know, I love it here. There's, I don't think there's a better place. And as you can see from my footage today, there were too many, there's too many hills and too many trees in, uh, in Pennsylvania, way too many. It's it's weird for me. It was weird for me going down the interstate in Pennsylvania and not seeing one cornfield, or one cow cow pasture, or something. So it'll be nice to see that on my drive back to Dad's. But um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in the car, guys, and I will go ahead and pay for parking and head on home. Um, I got something to eat uh, in Detroit. I found a McDonald's. Uh, all I did, you guys, I was recording, of course. I went over from, I, my gate was in Concourse C. I took a little venture over to Concourse A since I had some time. And I saw that there was a McDonald's over there. So I thought, okay, cool. I got some food and I ate it at the gate. I went back to my gate in Concourse C and I ate. So now 
um, I'm going to go ahead and hop in the car and pay for parking and get on home, guys. And I'll catch you guys when I get there. All right, guys, it's now 7.15, and I just got here. I'm in my me and Tyler's room here at my dad's house. I just got here. Um, I was only about five miles away, and my low tire light came on on my car. And I thought, oh, great. So I got to the gas station up here at the corner by the interstate, and I checked it, and I, I guess one of my tires was low. Can't imagine why. I, I, just, I don't know. It couldn't have been from sitting at, in Des Moines, so who knows. I may have some tire problems this weekend. Who knows? But uh, case in point, uh, no matter what, I am here. Um, I just got here. I just kind of unpacked some things just so that I could get some shorts on, get my jeans off. And I'll tell you what, it started pouring down rain. Pouring down rain. Um, as I got closer and closer to the house, I couldn't see anything once I hit the gravel road. I had to go really slow. But I'm here. I'm home. Uh, Tyler's at work right now. He's working till close, I believe, tonight at the store. So it's just me and the family for right now until Tyler gets home from work. Um, but I'm going to go up and use the bathroom and just chill out for a little while, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll catch you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, it's about, it's a little after 8.30. I've just been chilling out. Um, I'm outside here at the house, and uh, cool, cool thing. I came out here, I've just been hanging out with Nikki, and we looked out at the sunset. Look at the sunset tonight. At this point, it's just kind of dimmed out. But uh, another cool thing is this year on the field, they have beans this year. Um, and I think uh, I was telling Nikki, I think this is only the second time that we've had beans on this field uh, since we've lived here. So usually it's a lot, always corn, but I guess they decided to rotate and do beans again this year. So these are all soybeans. And of course, we got the horses. It just got done pouring rain, so it's muddy out there. Ghost and Lucky Sis. Then you got Tink, Star, and Darby out there. Darby actually just had a Reese had a pretty fun day uh, not too long ago because our town does their big 4th of July celebration on the 3rd. They do the 3rd of July. And my dad actually gave Darby a bath and cut her mane and cleaned her all up. And he rode uh, Darby in the parade. She had a whole bunch of like red, white, and blue. But uh, she looked really cool. Very American. Well, good late afternoon, everybody. It is now Saturday, July 10th. It is just about 7 o'clock in the afternoon or evening, I should say. Um, I'm in the car. Well, not the car. I'm in Tyler's car with Tyler. He's got his car. And this car has been sitting, you know, it was one that sat at the house. And I actually used it for three weeks back when my transmission was uh, went out in my car. And I drove it. And they, got, they had to fix the brakes and the master cylinder and a few things in this thing to get her rolling on the road good as new. And uh, so uh, we're on the road. We're actually headed down to the grocery store, my old work and Tyler's current work. Because one, I want to say hi to the workers down there. And two, I know for a fact that, because I've seen it on the shelf when I worked there, we sell Skipbo, which is, of course, if you haven't watched the last few videos, it's uh, the card game that me and my grandma play all the time when we're together. And I want to teach the kids how to play it. I want to reteach Tyler how to play it. It's just a really fun card game. I mean, I could play it for hours and hours with my grandma. So we're going to head down there uh, today, I guess, to tell you what we did today. Um, today, uh, we got up, I got up and I ate a bowl of cereal and then I hopped in the pickup with my dad because we went over to the city because we, um, I guess I haven't really told you guys, honestly, I probably should have told you, but, um, along a while back, my, uh, my dad and my stepmom opened a tax store. So our barn is now a tax shop. We have a whole bunch of items in there, merchandise, saddles, anything horses, we've got it in our store. And, um, so my dad wanted to start doing like a live auction, like live stream kind of thing where you just go live on like Facebook or something like that on the store's web, on the store's Facebook page. And, uh, we just show off the products that we have and, uh, people can live bid, they can buy, they can talk, you know, all that cool stuff. So we went to Staples today. And a few other places, they're shopping around for for laptops that are capable of streaming at a good speed um, and doing that kind of stuff. And also, we were going to get a webcam 
so that we could take it around the store with us and show, you know, the different products and stuff like that. And so we ended up uh, going to a few different places and uh, we ended up getting a laptop. My dad bought a laptop for the store. Uh, they have a 24 hour deal where, um, obviously we don't have the laptop right now because they have a deal, they have something where, you know, they gotta install, they're gonna, they have a 24 hour period after you buy it where they install like virus protection, hardware protection, uh, they're putting Microsoft Office on there, all that stuff. So we are going down, so we're, we have to go back down there tomorrow um, and pick up the computer and then we're gonna start setting it up uh, and we might do our first stream tomorrow just as a, mo as, either as a test or the first official stream. And I guess they're taking advantage, like literally my stepmom made a joke about it. She goes, we're setting up all this live stream and stuff now and my, li and my normal live streaming guy is three hours away. She's referring, of course, to me uh, with all the streams that I've done in the past. I am basically three hours away now at my grandpa's usually. So um, while I'm here, uh, one of my things I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be helping them set up uh, and get some stuff ready for that. But we are just coming into town, wow. I, I mean, I know I, I live in my hometown right now where I'm from, I live there with my grandpa and my grandma, but I graduated high school in this town and you know, I've made so many friends in this town and I've made so many memories that I can actually remember in this town and I've worked in this town and so I consider this town my home and I just love it to death. And so seeing it again for the first time since May, it's, it's good to see it. It's good to see it. We might take a little cruise around town or something. I don't know. But we're here in town, guys. We're going to go to the store uh, and then we're going to go get gas and stuff like that, guys. And I'll catch you guys in just a bit. All right, guys. It is now Sunday, July 11th. Uh, it is 1150 in the morning right now. So kind of a late start. Um... I am sitting here in my dad's truck. Uh, we are just at the gas station, uh, just about a mile away from the house. We went back to the city and we picked up the laptop because my dad's new laptop for the store uh, was completely done. Everything was installed. And uh, we got a Wi-Fi extender. We're gonna try to extend the Wi-Fi from the house uh, to the barn, which is where the store is. We're gonna see if that'll work. And hopefully um, we can get it set up because my dad kind of wants to do a stream uh, today and do a sale. So, um, we're going to go home, get something to eat and we're going to try that out guys. Um, actually we were here at this gas station. We stopped here on our way out to the city to fill up the truck with fuel. And there was a pickup truck, uh, that was parked kind of over a few spots away from us where we're parked right now. And it was like super jacked up and it had a bunch of big pipes. It looked kind of cool, but it, it just, you know, not I can't do it you know it's not a farm truck that's for sure so I'll go ahead and put a clip in here right here for you guys take a look so that was the truck I, I thought it was really cool looking but uh, I just thought I'd show you guys that so we're gonna go ahead and head on home hope you guys are having an awesome day we're gonna go ahead and head home guys and I'll catch you guys in just a bit all right, guys, it is now 8.20 at night. Uh, we've just been chilling out. Um, we ended up testing the... Um, we, we hooked up the Wi-Fi extender and everything. And well, we, we I, I got the shortcuts and stuff on my dad's computer um, for, um, you know, for all of our uh, dealers that we go through or our distributors that, he, that, we, that they buy TAC for, that we uh, are a dealer for. And we, uh, I got, he just wanted desktop shortcuts on the main desktop that he could just click on instead of having to go to Google and searching up every website. So I helped him, I showed him how to do that for a couple of them and then he, he figured it out and he did the rest of them. He saw me do it and it's really easy. So he got all those on there and then I helped him get into his e his Gmail and his other stuff on there. So the computer is all set and ready. The camera is all set and ready, but the Wi-Fi extender is not gonna work we thought it was gonna work but I guess even from the get-go we didn't we didn't guarantee we weren't guaranteeing anything um, but we wanted to give it a shot and it really didn't work so um, that's kind of a bust we'll have to take that back to the city uh, whenever we have the time but obviously dad goes back to work tomorrow um, so it probably won't be tomorrow but um, I've just been chilling out Tyler is actually in town right now 
uh, he went to town. He drove his car to town. And he's down at the down at the courts uh, playing some basketball with some with some of his friends. Um, so he's doing that. He'll be home here before nine o'clock. Um, but um, I also got on the phone and I talked to my grandpa and my grandma, who um, who of course I'm living with, and I just checked in with them and uh, he told me some things. Apparently, a big storm went through down there, and a big tree limb came down and made a big dent in the big Ford truck in the hood. And uh, then that, then there's some mechanical issues going on with the Chevy, the other truck. And so he had to bring our, the genie man lift and the skid loader home and to do some cleanup and um, stuff like this. And he did give me a progress report on um, the barn that we're working on at the sheep barn uh, on the west side. Um, the last time I was there to work before the weather got on us and then it was time for me to leave, um, we got the one sliding door tore off and we hadn't put it on yet. But now my grandpa said that he got both doors uh, tore off. So this is how it is right now. The both, both sliding doors on the west side have been tore off, extended out that inch and a half, put back on and put in the doors have steel on them. The doors are steeled. And then he said that he put half Half of the steel on the west side is done. Half of it's done, and then he's also put on some of the red trim or the rake. Um, that's what he—that's what it's called his rake. But it's that red trim that goes up along the uh, edges. Uh, he's got that done. Uh, half the steel and some of the rake. So he's coming along. He's had some problems with the weather uh, and stuff like that. So he hasn't been able to do too too much. And plus, with it, with it just being him for right now, because I'm on my vacation, um, it's it does take him a little while longer. But uh, the way things are looking uh, for my trip when I go back, I will probably be going back. Um, I have a feeling I'll probably go back um, a week from today. At this point next week, I'll probably be back. Um, because I, I want to be able to have some time with the family and uh, see them before I leave. And also that gives me time to get the, the my old car scrapped and stuff like that. Because some of these scrapyards, you know, they ask you or they don't or they don't take some of these scrapyards, they don't take, you know, certain parts. Like some of them, one of them might say, "Well, we, we'll take the car, but we can't have the battery in it and this in it. You got to drain all the fluids out of it. You got to do this, this. You know, you never know." So I want to be able to have a good amount of time so that we can call the scrapyard, say, "Hey, I've got this car. We want to scrap it. What do we need to do to it? What do we need to take off? What do we need to empty out so that you guys can take it? And then we'll take it." And plus also, um, this week, I guess technically it starts Wednesday night, is um, our county fair. Our local county fair um, happens uh, this week. And the last day is uh, Sunday, I believe. Um, and Friday is the horse show. That's normally when they do it, is on the Friday of the county fair. And uh, like I said, we have a tax store here now at the house that my dad and my stepmom run. And my the tax store is or my dad is part of a saddle club of a lo, of one of the, our neighboring towns, and um, together they have made uh, belt buckle like trophies, you know, like in the PBR when you win you win a belt buckle. Uh, same thing here for the Pee Wee for the Pee Wee like little kid horse shows. Um, we have a showmanship I believe, and we have a halter uh, belt buckle, and it has like our the store name written on the back. And it's really, really cool. Really nice belt buckles. And so we're kind of a sponsor of the horse, the Pee Wee Horse Show. And so I'd like to, and so Dad's going to take that day off of, of work. And he's going to go down and be there for the show because he's a sponsor and stuff like that. So I'd like to go with him and uh, be a part of that. So I think that's, I think that ends up working out perfect. You know, that I'm here for the county fair. I'm here to do this stuff. Uh, I'll have time to scrap the car. So not tomorrow, but next Monday, I'll be ready for, I'll be, I'll, I'll already be back at my grandpa's and I'll be ready to go on the job and do whatever we need to do, whatever the weather will allow us to do. Um, but also tomorrow on the agenda, um, we are probably going to be going swimming tomorrow at the swimming pool that we went to. It's just in a neighboring town a few miles away. We went there a few years ago. I don't know if I got vlog footage ever there, but I believe I talked about it. That's the place where uh, we conquered our fear of deep water and diving boards. Uh, we were going to go, well, we went two years ago, and then I told Tyler that we were going to get, I was going to pay for a membership for the two of us, and we, so that we can go all season. 
Um, we were going to do that this, this next year, but then the pandemic happened and the pool was closed. So we couldn't do that. And then this year, um, I've moved away and I've been at my grandpa's since the pool really opened. Um, and so now I'm here and the kids really wanted to, uh, me to go swimming with them uh, while I was here. And that, like I said before, swimming is something I really like to do. Swimming is really, really fun. I wouldn't do it competitively, um, but swimming is just really, really fun. I could do it all day. It's really, really fun. So tomorrow, uh, we're probably going to, me and Tyler and the kids are probably going to go swimming for a while. Which will be really, really, really fun. And I have some ideas for some cool, like, funny-esque uh, footage for the video. So you'll be, you guys will be able to see that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here, guys. Uh, basically, bef uh, after we got the computer and stuff set up, uh, me, Tyler, and the kids played some more skip bow. I guess I'll show you. since I, I guess since I have it down here. This is the game. This is skip bow. Uh, this is the game that we play, uh, that I played with my grandma, and all that cool stuff. Um, so that's what we were doing. But I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Um, it'll be a fun day tomorrow. We'll be doing some swimming and stuff like that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, July 12th. It is 8.44 in the morning right now. Um, just I, I've been up for, I guess I was up at like 6.50. I was up this morning. I got up and I chilled out with Nikki for a little while and uh, I've just been chilling out. I did up the dishes. There was a lot of dishes that were clean that needed to put away and there were just a few straggling dishes sitting around uh, on the counter there that needed washed. So I washed those and now they're sitting over on the drying side getting some air drying done. Um, but uh, today is going to be a fun day because today... Uh, me, Tyler, and the kids are going to be going swimming today over at the neighboring town's pool. Uh, we haven't been there in a few years. I, I haven't been there in a few years, I should say. They they were there maybe a few weeks ago. Um, but I haven't been there in a few years. Because like I said last night, we went two years ago. And then I said, uh, once that season was over, I said that for next year, I told Tyler that I would buy a membership for him and me so that we don't have to worry about paying every time we go in the door. You know, we just, I just pay like a, I think it's like 150 or something and you just put it down up front right at the get go. So all you got to do is show your membership or just say your name or whatever. And they, and if you're on the members list, oh, come on in. Uh, so I was going to do that for last year, but then uh, the pandemic happened and they had to close the pool down. So that wasn't, that I couldn't do that. And then this year I moved to my grandpa's and I've been working for him. So, um... I haven't been able to uh, go yet, so today uh, is going to be our first day going. I'd like to go as much as we can, because it's really, really fun, uh, even if it's just me and Tyler some days, but uh, I got a text from my grandma this morning, one of the, the grandma that I live with right now, and uh, I had already kind of had it planned out to stay up here until next weekend, but she kind of affirmed that uh, today. She sent me a text while I was washing dishes that basically said that... Uh, her and Grandpa both have doctor's appointments like all week this week, so um, there's even if I were to come back, um, I, we wouldn't be working anyway because they'd have to be going to the doctor and I'd be home with Shadow. So she said that if you want to stay up there longer, that's absolutely fine, not a problem there. And so that kind of works perfect with my plan, and especially with the county fair being this week, you guys know, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you guys know um, my love of just walking around fairs looking at the livestock, watching the shows. Go back to the Iowa State Fair vlogs. Um, I vlogged every single day um, when I was a grandstand usher at the Iowa State Fair a few years ago. Do go check those out if you guys want to see, if you guys don't know my love of just walking around the barns looking at livestock. But the county fair is this week. It, it, there's some stuff going on tonight, like open judging and interviews and like the queen crowning is happening early on this week. But like the first official day is like, I think Wednesday night they're doing like something. And then, so Wednesday night is technically the official start. And then it goes uh, Thursday all day, Friday all day, Saturday all day. And then Sunday they do stuff. And then it's like check out and they do the livestock sale. And then they kind of pull all the cow. The, I guess they'll sell all the cows and the stuff there. And then it's check out for like the horses and the stuff that, you know, doesn't get sold at the show. Um. And then that's the end of it. And like I was saying last night, uh, my dad in this tax store and stuff like that is uh, part of, is sponsoring the Pee Wee Little Kid Horse Shows. 
and we have belt buckles to give away. So I think that'd be cool for me to go with my dad and just dress up, wear boots, jeans, um, a nice Western shirt that I have here, and just represent the tax store and be with my dad. And so I, I called my grandma and she didn't answer. I'm sure she might be at the doctor already or something like that. But I just left her a voice message saying that that works perfect. And I told her I was probably just going to plan on leaving on Sunday afternoon, uh, being back at their place by supper. We can have some supper and then uh, we'll go to bed that night. And then Monday morning, if the weather's great, we'll go out and work. If it's not, we'll, you know, the weather's always a deciding factor, like I've said before. But uh, that works out perfect. Um... The, I think when it comes to the timing of this trip, honestly, I think it per worked out literally perfect. Like, I know as soon as I started saying, like, in the video called The New Plan, I first pitched uh, the idea of going to my grandma's. And then all of a sudden, only a few days later, I was telling you guys the official dates. I had bought the plane tickets. I had booked a flight. And this is when we're doing this. I felt, it felt like it was, like, all of a sudden. And I thought maybe things would, like, go out of, out of control without me in the equation because stuff was going on and I wasn't there, I was on vacation. Um, but it ended up working out perfect. My grandma and my aunt were super excited to see me when I came up. They were super open to that time. Um, they There was originally an obstacle because they were supposed to be remodeling uh, my aunt's house and they were gonna be doing the driveway too. So you, say, you guys saw that in the videos while I was up there. Um, but, uh, so that was an, an original obstacle, but then I got the green light. She said they haven't, they decided to push back the remodeling a little bit. So you'll be good to go. So that worked. And then it worked out perfect since I was already halfway to my dad's in Des Moines where the car was parked at the airport. I figured I'd drive out here, spend some time here with the family, scrap the, I take my old car to the scrap yard, all that stuff that we wanted to get done out here that involved me anyway. And now, with the doctor's appointments for my grandma and grandpa um, all this week, and we wouldn't be working anyhow, it works out perfect that I can be here with the kids for a while, help out with the county fair, uh, go and tour the barns. I did that every day for a while. Um, I went and we toured the barns. Now, Tyler only has until Wednesday off. I guess I haven't officially told him yet my plan of leaving next weekend, but he normally only works nights. Um, he works kind of full days on the weekend, but that's okay. Um, but, uh, he's got all, he's got until Wednesday off, but, uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know that it's official now. I'm going to be leaving on Sunday, which is the 11th. No, not the 11th. That was yesterday. He doesn't have the, he doesn't have yesterday. He doesn't have this last week crossed off on the calendar. The 18th, uh, the 18th I'll be leaving, uh, Sunday, the 18th, I'll be leaving early on in the afternoon, like noon, one at the latest two o'clock and we'll be headed back to grandpa's getting ready for work. So... I just thought I'd let you guys know that. I'm going to go ahead and chill out for a little while, guys, and then we'll get ready to go swimming, and I'll catch you guys in just a bit. So, it's about 2 o'clock right now, and we are just leaving the swimming pool. I don't know. Do you, are you supposed to go out that way that we came in? On the accident on the, on the one way? There's not a way to get around. Oh, really? But anyway, so we just got to the swimming pool. Not the swimming pool we wanted to go to. We went to the one we were going to go to, and nobody was there. Like, not a soul was there. The water on the slides weren't running. The uh, deal, there were no lifeguards out. Nobody was parked in front. Nothing, right? So we thought, okay, we'll go to the pool in another neighboring town. So Tyler even called on his phone, and they answered, and he asked if they were open, and they said, yep, we're open. So we're like, sweet, we're going to go swimming. First time of the summer for me going swimming. And so we get here and there were people here and there were cars and the water was running on the slide. So I was like, okay, sweet. We can go swimming. But something was up. I see nobody was in the water. Not a soul was in the water. They were just kind of standing around. Nobody was in the water. And I thought, what's going on? And I've seen a lifeguard picking up a sign and taking it into the building. And I thought, something's not right. So we get around right to the front uh, door and a, one of the lifeguards comes out and she tells us that they're closing at 2 today because they didn't have enough people show up. And so we thought, well, we, you know, we were like, okay, we, obviously there's nothing we can do about it. So we're like, all right, not a problem. And then, you know, so now we're kind of mad. We're, we're mad. Aren't we mad? I'm annoyed. We're annoyed. We just want to go swimming, man. We're wearing our swimsuits. 
And, so we've, and we've been to two, two swimming pools. <laughs> and netting and my swim trunks are caught up in the crotch area. <laughs> We're, we, we just want to swim. And so, what, are we, are we going to try to go to the indoor? Yeah, I suppose. It's a lot more expensive. And there's no, like, diving boards. I think the deepest the water gets is five foot. I mean, is it even worth it? It's water. I mean, I've been there before. I've been there once before. And, I mean, it's not a bad place, but, I mean, do we go? Or do we go just go do something else? There's really nothing else to do. I mean, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 85 and a little bit sunnier, so we'll try it again tomorrow at the, the first pool we tried. But it was just, man. We went to, well, the one pool we went to, the one we just left was open, but then all of a sudden they said they were going to close because not enough people showed up to swim. I mean, oh, look, they got a plane flying right over the road. Well, where are you? I can't see it on the camera. There it is. You see it. That's the most fun part of the day. <laughs> we went and got groceries earlier. Ran some errands in town. Picked up some milk and some stuff. But we knew, you know, the pool that we went to first didn't open until noon. So we thought, okay. So we waited a little afternoon and then we, then we left. And it is awful cloudy today. It's not supposed to rain. It's just cloudy. Maybe that's just... And it's not super, super hot. Maybe that's deterring people away. Which it could. I can understand that. So I guess we're going to go basically back to the town that we started in. Basically, pretty much. So annoying. And we're going to go to the indoor place. They don't have diving boards and stuff or deep water like what we were going to do at the outdoor pool. But I mean, they've got some water slides and a hot tub and stuff so I suppose we'll go give that a shot it's more expensive but 30 miles away is it really 30 no it ain't 30 miles away yeah from here from here what I mean it's not too far from home it's just we're a ways away from home so we're a little... Oh, and the river looks deep. Just from crossing that bridge, the river looks deep. We just want to go swimming somewhere. I don't care if it's a water hole in a cow pasture. <laughs> we just want to go swimming. I mean, it's a little humid. I mean, it's hot. It's like 70-some degrees, but the humidity is so high. I mean, I've got the window cracked, and I'm sweating a little bit just from sitting in the car. I mean, not too much, but I mean, I want to swim. We want to swim. So I guess we'll go and do the indoor for a little while, I suppose. Won't be as, you know, fun. Who watch them watch, they're gonna be close too. But I suppose we are gonna go um, so so I think we're gonna go ahead and so we're gonna go ahead and head to this indoor water park guys and we're, we're gonna just try to swim for at least a little while have a little bit of fun and i'll catch you guys in just a bit so uh we're at the water park and it's open i think we gotta wait a couple more minutes because they're doing pool cleanup um but oh we got in actually yo bro we actually found a place that was open let's go <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be here for a little while so take a look i'll kind of show you guys around this is where we were um when I, when, we, when me and the kids went swimming with uh, Nikki, Caden, Eric, all them, this is this is the place I last went swimming. There's no like deep water, but I'll show you. There's like a this. There's a couple water slides over there. Gotta walk up the stairs to go get to those, and then they got. So it's not a bad place, is it? No, it's all right. There's no diving boards or nothing, but it's okay. It is but uh, we're gonna we would have swam a long time ago if the pools we went to were open, but that's okay. We'll spend a little bit of time here, and then we'll keep on going, guys. Sure. And I'll put you guys in just a bit. Ooh. Driving like a champ. So, we're just now leaving uh, the indoor water park. Um, 
It started raining again, so I think I kind of know why the pools were not going to stay open. Or at least the one that we went to first. But, uh, we're headed home. We're going to stop, grab some, just something really little to eat. Nothing too big, because we don't want to spoil dinner. But we're going to grab just a little snack, since we're hungry. But we had a lot of fun there. We did... Yeah, you gotta stay in the left lane. But uh, we did the we did the water slides a lot. We did the regular old pool with the basketball hoop. We shot some hoops right here, and then uh, and then we did the hot tub. Oh my gosh, the hot tub felt so good. It was really nice. We had a lot of fun. But we're headed home now. So our uh, my urge of swimming has been. Uh, has been uh, helped, <laughs> that's for sure. We're gonna go ahead and head on home, guys, and we'll catch you guys in just a bit. All right, everybody, it is now 9.15. It's been quite a while, and quite a bit has gone down. Uh, we got home from the water park, doing some swimming, uh, chilled out for a little bit, and then my dad got home, and um, he basically came down, or I guess he didn't come down, he told us to come up. We, came, we went up, and he told us to uh, move the horses from the dry lot uh, to the big pasture uh, because we're pretty much out of hay in the dry lot right now. We've got three bales sitting in front of the barn that are you know, ready to be moved, um, but he said, for now, let's just move them over so they can, eat, they can chew up the grass, so I'll still have something to eat. So he moved them over and everything, and then while we were doing that, my dad was pulling out all of his like tools and stuff for work uh, from his pickup because for a while my dad's pickup, uh, the four wheel drive will not engage. And when he's doing stuff in the fields and stuff like that with his pickup, you know, he needs his four wheel drive. So he scheduled an appointment with uh, the mechanic that I've gone through and my stepmom's gone through that's about an hour away from here. And so what he decided to do was he decided to kill two birds with one stone. And he went ahead and he took the Wi-Fi extender back to Staples that we tested that didn't really work out very well. And he returned it and got his money back for that. And then he carried on, headed out, and he went to the mechanic and he parked his pickup there. And um, he parked there and then uh, after a little, a little while after he left, um, a little while after he left, me and Tyler took off and we, we hopped in my car and we went to that mechanic so that we could pick him up because he was because he left his truck um, sitting there overnight. So we went up with my car and we picked him up. Got got a good drive in with the cars. First time I drove I've driven the car since Friday. Um, and so my dad's going to be taking Tyler's car uh, to work tomorrow to the hog barn and all that stuff. So Tyler's car will get the, the farm experience for the first time. My car has been to the hog barn a few times and to the, into the main farm, the main shop. You know, my car has been there a few times, but Tyler's car will get the treatment. Uh, but uh, he's going to get that worked on, and I'm sure he'll need a ride over there once it's done. And I'd be more than happy to uh, do that um, because, obviously, I'm not leaving here until Sunday. So... Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. It's been quite a few days in this vlog. I think I've done about a four. I think it's four days that I've done. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. Uh, tomorrow, um, I believe we are gonna be going swimming again. Uh, but I'm hoping this time uh, the swimming pool is actually open. Uh, it's supposed to be like 85 degrees tomorrow. It's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to be warmer. So I'm hoping that we can get. Um, I'm hoping we can get, uh, hopefully that pool is open, I'm sorry. I, I hope that that pool is open, because when we showed up there today, there was not a soul there. Maybe it was just too cloudy, and apparently there's a rule at that pool where it has to be 70 degrees or higher for it to be open, and it was like 72, 73, so maybe they just decided not to, who knows. So, and the kids are going to go with us tomorrow swimming, so um, they'll have some fun. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. Spread the word of the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.